ጥላን የአዲስ ቅኝት የቨርቹዋል ቡና ጠጡ ፕሮግራማችን አድማጮች ዛሬ በቶሮንቶ ከተማ ካሉ ስመጥሩ ጎዳናዎች አንዱ ወደ ሆኖ ዳንፎርስ እንወስዳቸዋለን ዳንፎርስ እና ውድባይን ስትደርሱ ልክ ከሰው ትንሽ ወረድ እንዳላችሁ አንድ ታዋቂ ቤት አለ ሂሩት ሬስቶራንት እና ካፌ ሰኛል ሂሩት ሬስቶራንት እና ካፌ በጣም ብዙ ታሪክ ያለው ቤት ነው በጣም በርካ ኢቨንቶች የሚከናወኑበት ጉዳዮች የሚከወኑበት ሙዚቃዎች ስነ ጽሁፍ ኮሜዲ የሚተናገድበት ቤት ነው ለካናዳያንም ኢትዮጵያውያንም እና ለትውልድ ኢትዮጵያን ጭምር ማለት ነው ልክ ነው የሂሩት ሬስቶራንት እና ካፌ መስራቾች እና ባለቤቶች ሆኑት ተወዳጆቹ ሳቂታ ቀልዳዋቂዎቹ ኪነጥበብ አፍቃሪ ባልና ሚስቶች ጠበበ ወልዳ ሚካኤልና ሂሩት ዳኛቸው ይባላሉ የዛሬ የቨርቹዋል ቡና ጠጡ እንግዶቻችን አድርገናቸዋል ቡና ፍለተን የጠራናቸውኛለን ለውትሮ እነሱ ጋር ነበረ ቡና ለመጠጣትም ሆነ ቡናውን እየጠጣን ጣፋጭ የጃዝ የብሉዝ የሮክ እና ሌላ ሙዚቃዎችን ለመስማት የምንሄደው አው እንግዲህ በሂሩት ሬስቶራንት ግርጥሎት ጎራ ያለ ሰው ወይም ስራይ ብሎ ፕሮግራሙን አሬንጅ አድርጎ በወር ውስጥ መሄድ የፈለገ ሰው የኢትዮጵያ ጃዝ ማይት ቢፈልግ በወር አንድ ጊዜ ግርማ ወልደ ሚካኤልን እና ዳንኤል ባርንስን ከነጓደኞቻቸው ያገኛል ሌሎችም እንደዚሁ የላቲን ጃዝ የሮክ ኤንድ ሮል የፖፕ ሙዚቃዎች እንደዚሁ ኢንስትሩመንታል የፊንገር ስታይል የሚባሉ ማክሰኞ ማክሰኞ እንደዚሁ ያካባቢ ሰዎች ደግሞ ኦፕን ማይክ ብሎ ሁሉ ሁሉ ደግሞ የተገናኙ ነጻ የኪነ ጥበብ ዝግጅት ያደርጋሉ ኢትዮጵያውያን ደግሞ እንደዚሁ ስነ ጽሁፍ ዝግጅቶችን በማቅረብ በከተማው ውስጥ ያሉ የስነ ጽሁፍ ቡድኖች እዛ በመሄድ ቀደም ብሎ ዝግጅቶችን ያቀርቡ ነበረ አሁንም ቢሆን እየተሰባሰቡ የቤተሰብ ጉዳዮችን ለመፈጸም ግጥም ለመናበብ ሙዚቃ ለመስማት ስብሰባዎች ለማካሄድ ሂሩት በጣም ተመራጭና ተወዳጅ ቦታ ነው አሁን እንግዲህ በኮቪድ 19 ምክንያት ሰዎች ወደዛ ሄዱም ሁሉም በየቤቱ ነው ያለው በኋላ ከጨዋታችን እንደምትረዱት virtually የመምጣት ሐሳብም አላቸው በዛ ቤት ከመካሄዱ ዝግጅቶች አንዱና ዋነኛው የኮሜዲ ምሽት ነው በወር በገባ የመጨረሻው አርብ ላይ የሚውል ሂሩት ሁት ኮሜዲ የሚባል ምሽት አላቸው በጣም የታወቁ ኮሜዲያኖች እየመጡ ይቀለዱበታል እና የሱ ማዘጋጆች ከሆኑት አንዷ ካሮላይን እተወሰነ ጊዜ አብራን ትቆያለች በዛሬው ዝግጅታችን ማለት ነው እናንተ ሰብስክራይብ ሼር አድርጉ የሂሩት እና የጥበበ ታሪክ ፍቅራቸውን ከጀመሩበት ጊዜ ጀምሮ በስደት ያሳለፉትን እና እስካሁን ሂሩት ሬስቶራንትን እስከከፈቱበት ጊዜ ያለውን ጣፋጭ ታሪካቸውን አጫውተውናል በታዳመጡት እናንተም ደስ ይላችኋል ብለን ተስፋ እናደርጋለን መልካም ቆይት በኢትዮጵያ ዓለም ያላችሁ ሁላችሁንም virtual ቡና ጠጡ ብለን እንጋብዛለን ማውራት ከፈለጋችሁ ሐሳብ ማካፈል ከፈለጋችሁ ቡና መጠጣት ከፈለጋችሁ ከኛ ጋራ ወይ እናንተ ቡና ጠጡ ብላችሁ ከጋብዛችሁን ለሁለቱም ፈቃደኞች ነን ያለኛ <laughs> በመንገዲ ሁሉ ፈተና ሲገት ምን ያሱስ እዳኛ ያይኛሉ አይለሲ ደክም ፍራተን እንሲ ተፈን ተስፋቆርት ሲንከራተ ኢየሱስ በተቆራለ
<laughs> Bye, how's it going, guys? Good to see you. <laughs> um, I... Gazanji? Uh, uh, Gazanji? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I watched your documentary. <laughs> it, it was fantastic. Fantastic. Good to see you. Welcome to... Uh, Good to see you. Welcome to the New Perspective radio show, and we are very happy to, to, to have you. And uh, would you tell us what's life like in this strange time, and the comedy life especially? Comedy life is a little different. Um, I've done an, one online show. I did that last week. Yes. It was fun. It, it was challenging. I don't know if anybody watched, but uh, I, I had a good time. And uh, Harut, who just celebrated eight years uh, doing comedy at uh, Harut, yes. and they put together a special video um, for the occasion. Yeah. But personally, I'd like to do, I'd like to do a, a Zoom show, a comedian still doing our comedy and posting it on the uh, Harut uh, uh, Facebook page. That's what I would like. That's, but, that would be um, yeah. That's that not going to happen? That, that would be great. You know, uh, the, the only reason that we invite you to this show is you recently produced an article about Harut and uh, Tababa on uh, yes. Immig Immigrant Magazine. Yes. And, uh, you know, Hirut, right yeah, exactly, that's, yeah. that's it. <laughs> so that inspired us to there make this story. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful yeah. article. I read it. it. It's great, isn't it? It's great, yes. And I know that you are uh, a novelist and you are writing, I think. Yes. Wow, that's a beautiful picture and story. Yeah. So yeah. just tell us what, uh, how you met with uh, Hirut and Baba and how you you know, start the Hirut Hood comedy night at Hirut uh, Cafe. And let's start with that and we'll go, go through. Okay, I'll start in the, and Tabebi, you jump in. Uh, okay. Tabebi used to be my bank, uh, my financial advisor at Scotiabank. And this was like nine, 10 years ago. And uh, this is when the recession hit, the first recession, 2009 and my mutual funds were terrible, and I went into the bank to talk to Tabebi to complain to him. And he was just kind of sitting back, you know, playing air guitar. And I thought, what is with this guy? I, I said, why are you so happy? And he said, well, you know, I just opened up my own restaurant as a comedian. When I heard that, first thing I thought was, does it have a stage? So I asked him, I said, you know, do you have a stage? And he said, yes, uh, we have musicians playing, we have poetry. And I said, have you ever thought about doing stand-up comedy? Mm -hmm. Of course not. He'd never thought of stand-up comedy. He didn't know what Canadian comedy was. Yeah. But he had an open mind. And he said, sure, why don't you come by and, uh, you know, uh, to try something out. So... Uh, Kevin McDonald, who co-produces Harut, so he came, Winston Spear, Winston comedy Spear, award yeah. winner. Yeah, Winston came, Scott McCricker, another writer, he came, and me. Yeah. And we walked into the restaurant, and as you know, it's a beautiful vibe, beautiful, warm vibe. And we were looking around, and we thought, okay, comedy in an Ethiopian restaurant. I mean, look at how white I am, <laughs> you know, like, I'm such a white Canadian, it was so strange for me. But I thought, well, let's give it a try. You know, like he's willing, he's willing to try. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. We, we, we were so afraid because we thought, uh, you know, like, honestly, the little I knew about uh, um, Ethiopian culture, I said to my friends, I said, look, he might be Muslim. There might be no <laughs> drinking allowed. And, you know, as a white Anglo-Saxon Canadian, that's all we do is drink. <laughs> so we were thinking, how are we going to do a sober show? And then, and then we realized, no, he's just, you know, he's uh, he's he's Canadian, you know. He he will he will serve liquor. He likes liquor, you know. He plans so forward, he, you know. He's Canadian now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, he likes beer, you know. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. So, um, eight year eight years later. It's just been a complete blessing for the comedy community. And we've, 
Tabebi can talk about it. We've had like top notch comedians come in. And also the name, the name came uh, right there. You, you put the name together, he wrote Hood. Yep, yeah, that, that, that day, that, that day we thought about the name. Yep, that night. It's very interesting story. And you know, this is a culture coming together and that's exactly. what, what art is. So, uh, and uh, before I go to another question, what is it like, you know, being a comedian in this strange time, you know, I want to know that, you know, is it easy to make comedy and to make art in this uh, time? What, what, what is it like? It, uh, yes, I know, I want to know the feeling. Um, it's very easy to get lazy and it's very easy to get overwhelmed and just kind of tune out. But I am, I have discipline. So I'm, I'm working on a new collection of short stories. So I can sit down as a writer. I, I work in isolation a lot. So this is actually good for me. I, I really don't notice that much of a difference, to be honest. Wow. But when it comes to live performance, there's the difference. So it's having to adapt to, uh, to a new virtual digital world uh, um, as far as, okay, how do we create now? How do we get our art out there? So it's having to adapt. So adapting to the digital uh, reality now. And CBC has a, uh, a creative relief fund where they're accepting uh, pitches from all kinds of artists. I sent in three pitches last week. I feel good about them. I'm uh, my my creativity carries on throughout this. I mean, it's early days yet. This might be the new reality for a while, but I think as artists we need to embrace the digital uh, tools that are out there so we can continue talking to each other, discussing our, our art and uh, our creativity. And it just, it doesn't die. I mean, we have to adapt. And I think there's been really great creative ways of adapting. This takes us to the historical time that you and Baba was started the Hirut Food Comedy at Hirut, because that's a traditional way of, you know, uh, expressing yourself. So now that's, Thing has a problem. It's stuck mm -hmm. now. So, mm -hmm. uh, Tabe, can you jump in and you know tell us what it feels like to lose all your audience, your friends, the comedians, and musicians? And here it was, you know, a very a good hub, cultural hub for all of us. So, uh, tell us your historical uh, uh, evo evo you know evolution of yeah. Hirut. Yeah, yeah you know. For from from the, from the beginning, you know, when we set up uh, Hirut, uh, um, it's not to be just a regular restaurant where you go just to eat or drink. You know, art has the main uh, the main aspect of Hirut. Yeah. So without without it, you know, there is no there is no Hirut cafe, there is no Hirut restaurant. You know, it will die if there is no music, if there is no art at that place. Maybe we rent it out to something who want to sell food. Our passion is in art and music. So especially after I retired about a year and a half ago, uh, having uh, an act, uh, whether it's a music or a comedy or a poetry reading, night after night, it was, it was a blessing. Yeah. So some, sometimes I have a nightmare, you know, that, like, will this come back again? But... Um, uh, the messages I get from the musicians, the artists, the encouragement, and it's unbelievable. It just makes me so happy. Everybody say, as soon as this thing is over, the first place to go is yeah. Hirut Cafe. So um, I'm uh, very hopeful. We're not a big, big place. We're a very small place. We have a niche um, friends. Uh, they're not just uh, musicians or poets or com comics. They are friends so we know they are coming back to hero no matter what Maybe. so uh, we have i have hope and um, i'm encouraged by uh, having a friend a friend like caroline the article uh, on april was like it came on the right time you know so i'm very hopeful you know and uh, that's not only uh, this you know about two three years 2016 we were on the cover of the uh, Toronto Star on the entertainment section, the front 
like a full page story. Yeah. So um, this has been going on, but uh, today I want to thank uh, Gazine and Sosi, your um, radio, to bring that to the Ethiopian community and to let them know that what's happening at Hirut. On the other side, we we uh, we think we're the best in the east side when it comes to art and music. Not only in the east, no not place. only in yeah. the east. We, you are, you know, <laughs> in, in, in Toronto, <laughs> you are one of the hubs, and uh, Toronto is a, a place of small activities here and there. You know, all this coming together, and that what makes Toronto, you know, a cultural hub yeah. and you know, an art, artistic hub. So uh, mm -hmm. today, what do you feel uh, about uh, the article that Caroline produced on the Immigrant Magazine when you read it first? And, you know, it shows all oh. you uh, love. Oh, 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 it's, uh, it's, uh, it, 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 it makes me so proud. You know, I came to visit this country uh, from the day, the day we landed. Uh, he wrote to say it when you were coming from the airport. Uh, she looked at the... Uh, the, the, the scenery and it's, it, Toronto is like an open space. She said, this is, this is nice. I love it already. So we have been blessed and um, uh, we, we, th we feel like we're giving back a little bit, you know. Yeah. Hirut, is, Hirut will be there, you know. There are kids, uh, five-year-old kids, whether they play drum or guitar, they play at Hirut. I have an 80-year-old jazz players they come and play so once uh, even even after 20 years 30 years people will always say this is the place i play my first recital or my first guitar i do comics here you know the students from york university they call us and they say our professor play at Beirut. can we come and play oh, nice. you know it is in 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 march i had 24 booked wow. dates for wow. performance april 19 after 10 years, it was just everything was coming and I was overwhelmed. And when I say acts, these are like top-notch musicians or top-notch comics. So it was coming up and this virus just came in between, but uh, we'll get back. Hopefully. So uh, I'm, I'm so happy for this country, for what they give us. Even with the virus things, you know, we're blessed. We're living in, the, in a beautiful country. You know, we're taking care of at some point, you know. Yeah. So I'm grateful for everything, and thank you for Caroline. Nice, Caroline. Hey, uh, <laughs> tell us about you know your uh, uh, relation with Ethiopian culture, uh, with the food, and you know, I think uh, staying with Hirut gives. I, me I, will, I will tell you. I will tell you. She <laughs> made. She made in Jera, and she posted to me the other day. Are you kidding? I made in Jera. Oh my God! <laughs> it was terrible. Uh, it was really, no matter what, I, how do you think of that? <laughs> well, I, I looked. I looked online for a recipe, and I had some teff flour. Like I had some teff, and I wanted to try it because, you know, like wh why not during these times? And I didn't know that it fermented for that long. Like yeah. it, it's so easy. You make it. You just leave it. It's perfect. Um, but when it came time to cooking it, yeah. I. I kind of cooked it like a pancake and that's not the way you do it. You know, so it was a big blob and yes. it didn't taste like Harut's uh, Indira, <laughs> you know, like, and then I, then I made the who, I mean, I, I enjoyed it very much, but there's nothing like uh, a proper cook making it. perfect. Even but, I, but I, but I think, I'll, I think I'll continue. I think I'll, uh, it's, it's a process. It's a process. It will yeah. be perfect soon. She make me sir. She make me some a silhouette. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was tasty. It was really good. So yeah. but, uh. but what uh what what I've learned about Ethiopian culture is just how inviting and warm and receptive it is to the arts. I mean, you know, I'm fifth generation Canadian. I've uh, my family's been here for generations. But you know, meeting meeting new Canadians, you guys like you guys are the future. You're the you're the you're the absolute future of this country, and uh, I I just feel so warmly embraced by um, by new Canadians, and we we have to help each other, you know. And Tabebi gave us comedians a venue to play. 
because in Toronto, there's a lot of places that are shutting down. A lot of uh, music music clubs are shutting down and, you know, comedy, the, you know, places are shutting down because of the rents, because the rents are so high here. Yeah. But because Tabebi's a smart businessman, although I never know it from my mutual funds, <laughs> <laughs> he's actually a smart businessman. So he's able to keep restaurant going and um, and provide a venue for uh, artists to play. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. What do you think about the future after we get over this uh, Corona thing? And what do you see? What do you expect? I, I see that there's going to be a much bigger role for digital uh, uh, communication. I, I think there's going to be uh, an embrace of of things digital. I think people are going to get used to seeing performances in this kind of venue, you know, just, um, uh, you know, computer to computer. Yes. There will be a live aspect as far as the huge concerts um, and the huge gatherings. That's not going to happen anytime soon. But yeah. Harut was an intimate environment before. Yeah. When we come back with the social distancing, it, it's going to be you know, I think I think Tabebi's well positioned yes. in that, you know, even even if the place is half full, it still feels very warm and inviting because of just the way the way that the painting is and the way the uh, the restaurant has been designed. Um, but there's I think there's going to be a definite mix of the digital experience and a you know, a, a very live experience, something something that is, that is not as close as it used to be, but we'll adapt. I'm, we will, we will. I'm, I'm, we will. I'm optimistic. I'm yeah, we will adapt. We will adapt. Maybe we will, uh, we will uh, put the best act and uh, we, we do a live stream direct from Europe, you know, so yeah. people can, can, uh, can watch it from wherever they are, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We and then got, they, that's a very interesting yeah, we got idea. Top, yeah. Top top notch musician or top notch uh, comics. So um, I think we probably have to go that route as well. You, you are coming with uh, with virtual reality soon. You you mentioned about yeah oh, yeah. Well, I hope so. I, uh, this is a discussion I have to have with Kevin. Yeah. But I really think we should embrace the digital and and just get on with it. You know, just adapt and and creativity doesn't stop, you know, and when it stops, we're in big trouble. So we have to keep creating, we have to keep producing, um, we have to keep active, and we have to encourage each other. That's, it's so important. You got to keep the faith. Come on, you're doing it right now. Oh, we no, already no, are. No, before, before, before you leave, I want to ask you something, uh, Caroline. How do you see it about, uh, as an artist and, uh, you know, as a musician or as an artist or uh, a banker, you know. Banker. There is two, okay. two sides. Do I see brother. him now? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's very strange because when he'd come home from uh, Scotiabank yeah. and then he'd start, like, you know, serving drinks and I thought, my God, there's my <laughs> banker. <laughs> I, w I was just in the bank talking about my money, and here he is, like, serving customers. I thought it was, like, I was a little shy when I do comedy, and then I'd see him there, you know? Because <laughs> I'd see him at Scotiabank with his suit and tie on, looking all proper, and telling me about, you know, mutual funds and interest rates and everything. And then I'd come to the show... <laughs> <laughs> and he'd be like serving people and forgetting their orders and not, you know, watching the comedy and not paying attention to the customers. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was really funny. But now that he's retired, oh, man, he's, he's one of us now, you know, and, uh, and, and he's a great, um, he's, he's just like, like one of us. yeah, he's, he's one of the comedians now. We feature him in all kinds of videos and, uh, I mean, Tabebi's worked so hard, and I'm so proud of him for working at Scotiabank all those years. Cause somebody had to, you know. But uh, but now he's he's living his dream, and the dream's going to continue. That's it, it, you know. Thank you. Thank you very much, Caroline, for your time. We are so happy to have you. Have a good time. Okay. 
Thank you, Take guys. Care. Okay, thank you. Okay. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. ይህ virtual ቡና ጠጡ የተሰኛ መሰናዶችን ነው በዚህ ቤት በተቀመጥንበት ጊዜ ኮሮና ቫይረስ በሁላችንም ህይወት ላይ ከፍተኛ ችግር በጋረጠበት ጊዜ በየቤታችን ሆነን ከልጆቻችን ጋር ከቤተሰቦቻችን ጋር የተጫወት የተማማር የጸለይ ይሄንን ጊዜ ለማምለጥ ሁላችንም እየበኩላችንን እናደርጋለን ይሄም ሆኖ ደሞ በየቤታችን ብንቀመጥም ሰውንን አፍቃለን ጓደኛ ማናገርን ፈልጋለን ቤተሰብ ማናገርን ፈልጋለን ተለያይተን አንቀርም ነገር ግን ለመገናኘት ደግሞ እንደላለን virtually ማለት ጊዜው የኢንተርኔት ጊዜ ነው እንደ ድሮ ዘመን ሰው ተቆራርጦ አይቀርም ስለዚህ በየቤታችን ሆነን በድምጽ በመስል እንገናኝ እንችላለን አዲስ ቅኝት የሬዲዮ ፕሮግራሙም እንግዲህ በቶሮንቶና ከአባቢው በሚገኙ ኢትዮጵያውያን ቤት ጎራ ያለች ከያንዳንዱ ቤተሰብ ምን ያከናወነ እንደሆነ ልጆቹ ጋር ያለው እንግኝነት ቡና በመጠጣት በመጠያይቅ በመጸለይ ይሄንን ክፉ ጊዜ ለማምለጥ የሚያደርጋቸው እንቅስቃሴዎች ለእናንተ መልሳ ታቀርባለች ዛሬ አንድ ቤተሰብ ጋር ጎራ እንላለን በኢትዮጵያ ዓለም ያላችሁ ሁላችሁንም virtual ቡና ጠጡ ብለን እንጋብዛለን ማውራት ከፈለጋችሁ ሐሳብ ማካፈል ከፈለጋችሁ ቡና መጠጣት ከፈለጋችሁ ከኛ ጋራ ወይ እናንተ ቡና ጠጡ ብላችሁ ከጋብዛችሁ ለሁለቱም ፈቃደኞች ነን ተና መጣችሁ ሂሩትና ጥበባ አዲስ ቅኝት የሬዲዮ ላይ ፖድካስት አገልግሎት ኦኬ ቡና አፍልቻለሁ በስኳር ባዶን ኖ ኖ ኖ ስኳር አልፈልግም ነኝ ባዶን አርግ እሺ ነው ነው ወታ ልጨምርበት ባዶን እንዴ ባዶን ባዶን ይወለልኝ እሺ እንግዲህ ቨርቹዋል ቡና ጠጡ ነው የሚባለው ቡና ለብጣት አንቺ ጋር ነበር ምን መጣው ሄዱቴ በፊት አሁን እንግዲህ ቡናውንም ጥብሱንም ይደግደልም ኦ እንግዲህ ተገናኝ ነው 80 85 አመት ምረት 1985 በፈረንጅ ነው ማውራ አለ ኦኬ ችግር የለም ሶሲት ሆልደሽ አለ እኔ ሶሲት ሆልደሽ ነበር እኔ ለሰባዎቹ አ አንዴ ገዘ ገዘ አይ ቢጫውት ነበር አዎ እንዴ እዚህ ለኛ 85 ራብ ጊዜ ኮማ ከራቡ አንድ አመት በኋላ ማለት ነው እኮ ከአንድ አመት በኋላ ማለት ነው 84 በኋላ ዮስ አመት ነው ያ ትኩስ ዋል አይደለ በቃ እፍ ምትል በሰዓት ላይ ነው በዛ ላይ ነው ብድግብ ይወጣው አዎ ይርማል እሚገርም ነገር ግሪክ ሀገር እንደገባውን እንግዲህ በ10 ሰዓት በረራ ማለት ነው እና ወርስ በረራ ግሪክ ገብቻለሁ አዎ ነው አፍሪካ አዲስ አበባ ቀጥታ የት ነው በካይሮ ሄዶ ነው አቴንሽን ሄዶ ካይሮ ካይሮ ሄዶ ነው ካይሮ ሄዶ ከካይሮ ወደ አቴንስ ማለት ነው እና ለሊተኝ ቼ እንዴት ሰዓት መጣ ሁን ግን ኤቭሪዴይ ነው መንገናኝ ነው ከባንክ ከስራ ቆጣ በኋላ ሰዓት ጋር ተመጣል ማታ ማለት ነው ከስራ በኋላ ኢትዮጵያ ኢትዮጵያ ማለት ነው። ነጥብ አንቀ ነው። ነጥስ ይተንሻው ራራ ነው። የት ነበር ምትሰራው? ንግድ ባንክ እንደነበርን ያቃለ። አዎ ባንክ